Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to VG Fiasco's Summer of Co-op with Ryan and Taylor. I'm Ryan. I'm Taylor. I'm and a noob. Don't judge me. <laughs> Taylor's a noob. <laughs> uh, this is the inaugural episode, and so we decided to play one of the greatest games of all time. My favorite game of all time. And that is Halo Combat Evolved. I'm just as bad at this game as I am all other games, so... <laughs> <laughs> Again, don't judge me. Uh, we're gonna do Heroic. I would normally do Legendary, but you know what? Watching us die a lot is not that fun. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> if we'll play Dark Souls sometime, then... Is Dark Souls, uh, co-op? No. Well, sort of. Kind of. Like, you can do it, but it's not built for it. Okay, okay. But yeah. Anyway, so this is the Anniversary Edition, in case you haven't seen this before. It's pretty awesome, and I should have turned on subtitles, but... What is the difference? I have no idea. Between uh, the Anniversary... I mean, the original one, did they update anything with this? Yeah, yeah, So, like, all these graphics are, like, high-res, HD stuff, you know, like, it's all been reskinned. Gotcha. Um, but this, this game's actually, like, really unique, as far as HD remakes go, because it's actually running the original game and engine, like... As, as the actual, like, gameplay engine, it's just running that. And it's just, like, an overlaid graphics on top of that. So, like, it feels exactly the same because it is. It just uh, looks really cool. Cool. So, oh, subtitles are on. You did it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we should watch all the story stuff. What do you think? Not with this one. I already know the story, right? Ish. That's true. And I'll ask you if I've forgotten anything. So the question is, do viewers want to see it? <laughs> I think you could go and find a cutscene video, right? That's true. Alright, so we're going to skip it. If you guys are opposed to that, feel free to let us know in the comments, and we'll stop doing that in the future. <laughs> but later on, we will be playing games that we have never played before, and we will definitely be watching those cutscenes. Dang straight. Resident Evil? Yes. What's Resident Evil without cutscenes? Oh, oh. I'm so excited <laughs> to play. Neither of us have ever played a single Resident Evil, right? So we are super excited to get to that. This guy's gonna die. The guy in the ship. Oh, oh, oh. the guy in the ship who's showing you where to go always dies. Video game tradition: guides must die so that you can be lost and find your own way. I went this way. How do I go? Oh, I'm I'm waiting for Taylor here, the noob. Noob. I'm He's too busy watching the guy die. <laughs> Have compassion, all right. In case you couldn't tell, I'm the guy on top that's uh, leading the way. Uh, I'm the one who can't remember how to duck. <laughs> so I... Oh, where did you go? I go through here. Turn around. So I once... Uh, okay, I've played like a ton of this game. Like, hours and hours, like hundreds of hours of this game. I've played the campaign a ton, I've played multiplayer a ton. And so one time, like, I was like, I just want to see how fast I could get through this level on easy without shooting. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I just, like, meleeed my whole way through the level, and I think I finished it in, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. Captain Keys. And he's got them memorized. Good to see you, man. Do you have another controller with batteries? <laughs> <laughs> this one's got some serious drift issues. Okay, we're going to have to pause this for a minute. <laughs> we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. We got the controller issue resolved. And we now have magnums. Yeah. It's exciting. So, uh, just a little background on why we're doing this whole summer of co-op thing. Uh, we love co-op games. <laughs> co-op games are awesome. Like, I challenge you to find a better gaming experience than couch co-op. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, we just, we had, like, this huge list of games we wanted to play together, like, games that we have and stuff that we just never played or have played and love. And so we're like, so this summer we're just going to do it. We're just going to play all the games. I'm shooting our own guys. Absolutely. Especially for me who, like, I'll never sit down and play hours of video games. Like, by myself, I just, it doesn't happen. But I'll play a co-op game forever. So this is going to be right, fantastic. Yeah. It's harder to justify, like... I mean, I'm, I'm a gamer. Like, I, I will sit down and play games for hours. But I understand, like, it's harder to justify ah. sitting alone playing games for hours on end than it is to, like, be with a friend. Yeah. Know? And my wife gets less mad. 
<laughs> yeah, because she's like, oh, you're hanging out with my brother. That's cool. Yeah, that, that works. <laughs> Family bonding. That's how we wrap this all in a cloak of deception. So the best thing ever was uh, the past couple of months, we've gotten our wives into Super Smash Brothers Melee. <laughs> the best. <laughs> so, We've just been playing like tons of melee all the time, just like tons of two versus two melees, and it's so awesome. Well, first of all, the game's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely love yeah. it. But beyond that is, my wife will come to me and say, hey, let's play video games. Yeah, oh, and that's the coolest part. I don't care how bored I get of it. If she's just saying, yes, I'm in. Oh, bummer. I die first. Suck it. <laughs> Suck it, son. <laughs> I will never live that down. It's on video. It's going to be online. Like, <laughs> yes. Oh, dang it. I died. But you died too, so it doesn't count. <laughs> You have to respawn me or it doesn't count. <laughs> it's on the record. <laughs> I once heard, and I'm sure it's true, that once something goes online, it never goes away. It's like it's impossible to get rid of it. And so that's yeah, forever really done. quite shameful. <laughs> <laughs> on the first level, not even on Legendary. Playing with Taylor. What up? I died first. Yeah. Did that guy please die? Suck it. There you go. So, have you ever seen the show Psych? Uh... An episode or two. So, what are we, oh, I see. Over shit. Um, you'll hear a lot of. Me I just watched all eight seasons in a row, so <laughs> I'm stuck saying the words they stuck say. So, I promise, I'm not twelve. I generally don't say "suck it," but you can thank the creators of Psych for that. <laughs> Where did you go? Okay, this is going to be my new goal for this episode, is just to see how lost I can get Taylor and how far I can get into the level without him even knowing where I am. He's going to finish it before I even get there. And and this is a great level for it, too, because this level essentially is just a maze. Like, well, yeah, and you played it so many right. stinking times. 15 minutes. Alright, come here. Everything freaking looks the same. Duh! <laughs> Duh! There we go. And then, and the thing is, like, oh, I forgot yeah. about the loading. You're gonna load up every time. Sucker. I was gonna say, the thing is, like, you know when you get lost in a game, and you're, like, trying to find a clue as to, like, where you're supposed to be going, and you see dead bodies on the floor, you're like, okay, this is where I was. Yeah. Right? But if I'm ahead of you, like, the dead bodies aren't gonna Everywhere. help you at all. Yeah. <laughs> I just am following the grunts for the most part. Uh oh. Uh oh. Die again. Oh, I got hit by him. Oh, I'm out of ammo. So I'm kind of debating. Oh, you're. Oh, that's not you. <clears throat> I'm kind of debating uh, oh, switching it over to the the classic graphics, just to see. Just because I actually like it better. Really? Yeah, and and I have reasons for that, and I'll I'll kind of show you and explain oh, it, like, when we get to good points. Um, but also because this game actually doesn't look that bad. No, it aged really well. They didn't try to go about too far beyond what the capabilities were, right? Yeah. I think that's kind of, like, the key to a, a game that ages well is, one, you don't want to go hyper-realistic. Yeah. Because that, like, it will always get, hyper-realistic always gets way better, right? Right. And so you're never going to look nearly as good as the newest game. And two is, like, you oh just want to have, like, a nice, good, like, good-looking art style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like, this game is just, like, it's got, like, bright colors and, uh... Well, that's... It's just fun to look at. Stinking... Oh, come on, die, you little... Um... What game am I thinking? Call of Duty? The game is black. Like, you're just trying to differentiate <laughs> different shades of black the whole time. <laughs> Drives me crazy. Oh my gosh. You can tell I've been playing it, though, because I keep trying to get iron sights. And <laughs> what you all my grenades? <laughs> I've almost stuck you, like, four times back. So that's what this is about. <laughs> iron sights. Oh, stupid. Well, I mean... Oh, I'm shooting our own guy again. The worst part is, is whenever we play, you're the one always tell you your iron sights. You your iron sights. <laughs> I finally got in the habit, and now it's doing me harm. Does it tell us how many kills we get at the end of the level? No, that's good. It doesn't keep track stats. <laughs> which is kind of lame because Halo Three and Reach, which were both before this, had scoring systems for the campaign. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't like, have been that much harder to... Yeah, like, it, it's kind of lazy that they didn't bother adding stuff like that. They did do skulls and terminals, which is really cool. Like, I had a lot of fun with that. I don't know what I mean. Skull, oh, the hidden thing. Yeah, the hidden level. skulls, and then terminals look, they'll, like, give you an extra background story. Uh, okay, that's cool. Which was great, because, like, this is my favorite game of all time, right? And so, like, 
it adds more background story to my favorite game. And on top of that, there's like new stuff to do, like things yeah. to look for. Well, and you're the guy who reads all the books, right? Right. So the story is, I'm a Halo nerd. Sorry, I added you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going melee mode because I know you're not gonna die. Oh, oh, I missed. You know, like I gotta say, I'm really glad that for the most part they, well, pretty much on every account they stuck to the, kind of the original formula of this game. Mm -hmm. One thing that I would have liked they for them to add would be assassinations uh, on the. So like in the when you, when you like get somebody from behind and you do like the cool like oh yeah, 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 stuff, yeah, yeah. like that would have been cool and it, it wouldn't have taken anything away from the original game right okay so they do they do it in the later games they just yeah. didn't put it in the anniversary yeah so like it's in Reach it's in Halo Four oh, okay so <laughs> no, it's this way. you found you found that copy of ODST at my house right and you're mm -hmm. giving me crap for doing it. I also found a copy of Halo 3. Oh, awesome. So I pretty much have the whole kit and caboodle. I've got four <laughs> chilling somewhere, too. You have Halo 4? Uh-huh. Whoa, I didn't know that. Do you um, have Reach? I don't know. I don't think you have Reach. I don't think so. Although, I was looking for my copy of... The problem is, is me and my brother share, and since he's moving around in college, like, our games are everywhere. Right. Nobody can keep track of what's where. Yeah. So... I was looking for my copy of Red Dead because I wanted to finish that campaign finally, and I found ten different Halos. <laughs> it was fantastic, which is good. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I found so many games I didn't know that we had that he had just bought and had been keeping at his apartment. Awesome! I know it's fantastic. So they have. Uh, I, I think I emailed you this or like sent you this or something. I don't know if you ever saw it, but they they released. Uh, like a double pack of Reach and Halo Anniversary. Okay, so you didn't talk to me about it. What you did is you, on that check, we went down to California. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we went to California, and he was paying us for gas, and on the memo line says, so that he can buy the Halo combo <laughs> pack or whatever it was. <laughs> Kelly says, what's this? Uh, video game. <laughs> well, it's awesome. Like, it's, it's Reach and this game for 30 bucks, and that includes a download code for the Anniversary maps on Reach. Which are amazing. So, right, I think you should here. get it. Alright, All right, you need to move, buddy. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> There's bad guys. Die! Die! <laughs> Mine's gonna be all sorts of entertainment value. Ugly gaming. <laughs> really funny. So, there's the. Uh, there's this series that um, one of the guys at Game Informer does where his dad will come in and they'll play games together. And, <laughs> okay. and his dad is like a non-gamer, right? Right. And he's like he's like a 50-year-old guy, so he's not he's you know he, he's not like he's played games before, but just isn't really a gamer. He just doesn't play games. Right. So it's just like the most frustrating thing to just like watch him try to explain to his dad how to play, and like he won't play with him. It's just like him watching his dad and telling him what to do. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's so frustrating. And At least on like, this one, you like I spawn to you when I'm stupid. Right? right, right. Like yeah, you can move around and like shoot guys. Right, like. Although some watching this video would beg to differ. <laughs> but it's funny. Like, and they'll play hard games like Portal. You okay, know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and which are conceptually kind of confusing. Right. It takes a while to wrap your mind around, but like if you can't even control the character, like <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah, forget about it. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. Alright, um we finished that level in like okay. What was that like? I don't know, fifteen twenty minutes maybe. Yeah. So I must have finished it a lot faster. Yeah, easy. I'm thinking, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll go ahead and call that an episode. So thanks for joining us and come back for part two. Yeah. Where we land on Halo. Yeah. Goodbye.